What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hobby's baby mama and ex-fiance Lauren Como really got the ball rolling when she exposed Javi and Kale for allegedly creeping around behind her back over the past three years and even right now. In fact, it appears as though Kale's other baby daddy Chris Lopez caught wind of the allegations because he's since deleted photographs of himself with the sons that he shares with Kale, um, Lux, and Creed. And started posting a couple of angsty quotes in his Instagram stories. The first of which reads, and I quote, I don't know who needs to hear this, but healing from your emotional trauma looks good on you. Keep going, you sexy F-U-C-K. Followed by, sometimes you have to delete their pictures, block their number and their social media to get peace and move on. Listen, I think the last quote especially is very true. Like, you know, don't go looking to see what your exes are up to. Nothing good can come of it and you know moving forward with your own happy life is all you can do is the best you can do but I really don't understand why he's making these sorts of declarations for a woman that he never publicly claimed throughout the span of their what like five year situationship. This guy had two kids with Kale and never ever ever like publicly proclaimed his love for her, like their relationship or anything like that. He always left her looking stupid and like a stalker, you know? So to me, these declarations are just another example of how toxic Chris is, you know? He really treated Kale like a non-factor for several years. And now that she has reportedly gone back to her ex-husband who was very publicly obsessed with her like all this time Chris is about to pretend to be devastated by the news I'm not buying it to me it seems like a carefully crafted scheme in order to um, you know have Kale convincing herself that he actually cared about her once upon a time when that could not be any further from the truth you know it's very strategic manipulation that I hope she absolutely does not fall for you know and besides Kale is set to be arraigned tomorrow because she is facing charges for allegedly assaulting Chris over a haircut that he performed on their son Luck without her permission. So if I were her, I would be a lot more focused on that than on these petty mind games that Chris is playing. You know, now she's probably like, oh my God, I ruined all the chances I had. Like Chris and I could have gotten back together after this court case if I wasn't doing X, Y, or Z. Like, no, Chris is just performing right now and we are not buying tickets to this janky ass play he is putting on, girl. Uh -uh. Guys, what do you think about Chris's like angsty Instagram quotes and stuff about being heartbroken and traumatized, you know, about this possible news uh, involving Kale and Javi? Is this just another example of him being toxic and manipulative? Or did he realize after like five years and two kids that he really did love Kale and he's hurt by her? allegedly moving on. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.